What's up guys, it's your boy DJ Avionics back with another tutorial video about Animal Crossing New Horizons for Nintendo Switch. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a mural using actual photos if you want or clip art downloaded from the internet. Now to be able to do this, you need a few things before we get started. First, you're going to need Adobe Photoshop. I hope a lot of you guys already have it out there because I have templates um, made for you guys so you can download them from my Google Drive. The links are down below in the video description so go ahead and read the description and download those. And you will also need to have the Nook Link app on your phone. Um, to be able to do stuff like this to upload all the images So to do that you have to have a three your three-star island already made and ready to go Basically, you need to have beaten the, the storyline and then you go to the title screen You go to the main title screen of the game and you hit the the dash or minus um, button on your controller to bring up the settings and and then Tom Nook you will need to talk to him about um, the Nook Link app. So after you get, have your three-star island, uh, restart your game and then talk, go to the settings and then talk to Tom Nook, Tom Nook to, so he can install the Nook Link app um, to your Nook phone and then plus you need the Nintendo Switch online app on your smartphone or smart device. That way you can um, scan the QR codes of all these sections and we'll go th we'll go over all that here so there's going to be a total of four files this first one is a single piece it's a uh, file name is acnh mural single it's a photo a psd file it's 300 pixels wide by 300 pixels tall you're going to want to paste your section into here and then save it as a png file save as and then png okay Make sure you name it properly, all the sections, such as uh, top left corner, top, uh, top center, and top right corner if you're doing like a whole top row. And then the next file is ACNH Mural 2x2. So it's two sections wide, two uh, sections tall. It is 600 pixels wide, 600 pixels tall. So uh, this will be four sections. Another template I will include is a 3x3 mural, three sections across, three sections high, it is 900 pixels wide, 900 pixels tall, and then the fourth template will be the simple panel. Um, so this is 300 pixels wide and 600 pixels tall, and all of these templates will have the guidelines that you, that you see, those blue lines. So make sure you have, go up to view here in the menu bar, make sure you have snap on. That way when you're selecting a section using the uh, rectangular marquee tool, when you select a section like this, it'll snap to the guides making an exact 300 pixel by 300 pixel section for you to copy and then paste into the mural single so now let's go ahead and demonstrate me doing a two by two okay so to make that super mario uh, portrait that's on a two by two mural uh, in photoshop i'm gonna go ahead and open up my super mario picture that i downloaded which is this one and we are going to place this file this picture in our two by two template so I'm just going to hit Command A to select all and then Command C to copy. Go over to the 2x2 template and I'm going to zoom out, Command minus, and I'm going to paste it by hitting Command V or Control V. I'm talking Mac terms here. Control V is paste in PC and Control C is copy in PC. Command C is copy on Mac and command V is paste on that. Okay, so obviously it's too big, so we're gonna scale this down to fit in our two by two. So go up to edit, transform, I'm gonna 
select scale and we're gonna simply just scale it down make it fit now I'll just fill in the rest of the transparent sections of the image with white using the paint bucket okay so now we are going to select each square by using the marquee tool let it snap boom right there we're gonna command or control C to copy I'm gonna bring this into the single template all right we are going to save this file save as And I'm going to name this Mario Top uh, Left. Save it as a PNG file. Okay, go back to our 2x2. Two two. Now I'm going to select the top right section. Let it snap. Copy. Bring it into the single. We're going to paste it in there. So we are creating um, perfectly sized 300 by 300 pixels for the Nook Link app to use our images. Save as. We'll name this section Mario Top Right. We're going to use the PNG format. Save. Hit OK. Now we're going to select our next 300 by 300 pixel section. We're going to copy and paste it. And then we're going to save as this one will be the bottom left. Mario bottom left. PNG file. Hit save. Hit OK. And then we're going to select our last section. Let the, let the snapping snap. Copy it and paste it into the single section file template. Save it as Mario bottom right. Change the format to PNG. Hit save. Hit OK. Make sure we have everything titled properly and saved. All right, now open up your browser and go to this website acpatterns.com backslash editor. The link for this will also be down below in the video description. So from here, you wanna click on convert. We're gonna be bringing in our first Mario section of our mural. So click convert. And let's start with the top. So Mario top left. Click open. and simply just hit the next don't mess with this because it's basically cropping everything so go ahead and if you did mess with it just click and drag on this corner or any corner to select the whole image go ahead and click next and then here don't mess with anything else i suggest um, using the default settings so go ahead and click convert and this is basically what it's going to look like in the editor in the game. Uh, we don't have to mess with it really. Uh, if you need to fine tune something, you can do it right here in this program, in this browser, which is really cool. So from here, just go ahead and click. Oh, you can save it locally and it'll save it to this one, saved it to my download section as an ACNL file. Um, I guess if you want to um, use it later on or have a backup. So from here, just hit generate QR code. So this is what you will scan using the Nook Link on the Nintendo Switch Online app on your smart device. Okay, so now on my phone, I'm going to select the Nintendo Switch Online app. And then I'm going to click on Animal Crossing under Game Specific Services right there. Nook Link app is starting up. And then here we want to tap on the design section. 
And here we want to tap on scan a QR code. All right, so here we, we're just gonna capture that. All right, it says custom design has been scanned. Would you like to save? Save it. So now if you go into the game and open up your Nook phone and then go to custom designs app and then go to a blank design pattern here, any of these, and then hit the plus button to download. It says, do you want to connect to the internet and download a custom design made for Nintendo 3DS games? Click download. And then it says, a custom design named Mario Top Left dot P one by one was found. Please select the safe slot. So yes, we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna select this, hit the A button. Yes, we're gonna overwrite it. And there we go, we have our first section. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our second section. Okay, so now we're going to convert our second section. So hit the convert button. Uh, we're gonna do Mario top right next. Hit open, click next, click convert. Okay, we're going to go ahead and generate our QR code. I am going to scan a new QR code with my phone. It said, it said warning. It said, uh, would you like to overwrite the current design? Yeah, go ahead and click overwrite because we're going to be saving them. Um, you can, like I said, you can save them locally to your computer and um, you'll have your backup there. So we'll click scan on a new QR code. Yes, hit OK. So this is the top right. We're going to click overwrite. Okay, so now go back into your game. We're gonna select a new blank design pattern, hit the plus button on your controller. We're gonna download from the internet. A new custom design named Mario Top Right, that's the one we want, click OK. And then uh, select the design again. It's gonna actually show it. Sometimes it lags the first time, I've noticed. So just hit A again to select the design and then go through the prompt and it'll bring it up. So now let's bring in the bottom right section. So now we can actually, we can place it on the ground. Custom designs, bottom left, let's display on ground. Okay, we'll move over section. Oops. Custom designs, Mario bottom right. Display on the ground. Mario top right, display on the ground. Oops. Yeah, make sure you stand over your the spot where you want to place it. If you're putting a, if you're putting it on the ground. Mario top right, display on the ground. Balloon. And then Mario top left, display on the ground. And there, now we have Mario on our ground. But yeah, you can also place it on the wall, but when you place it on the wall, it looks like four different panels that are kind of separated. So if you want to look, make it look like a section wall art canvas, you can if that's, if that's your thing. To me, it kind of looks weird. Um, I'd rather put them on the ground outside. So you can customize a simple panel with your mural at your workbench. But the thing is, when you go to custom design, you can only select one image to go on both sections of the simple panel. I have tried to make a Princess Peach panel where this image shows up on the top section and then this image shows up in the bottom section but it doesn't work that way unfortunately. So but, I mean it's pretty cool you can have like two Mario's like that or or whatever. So that's pretty much how you can make murals take actual photos. You can actually take photos but I, I decided for this video to bring in cartoon type artwork and then upload it upload them into your game so you can have a artwork of your sort of your pick 
to put on the ground, on your wall, or panels. So I hope this helped you guys in um, customizing your island even more. If I did, please, I'd appreciate you guys hitting that like button. Leave any comments or questions down below and I'll get back to them ASAP. Help you guys out. Please share this video and please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified of future content like this. Alright guys, well I'm DJ Avionics. I'll see you guys in the next video.